Hey guys, welcome to my channel Tokyo Foodie Sarah. In this video today, I want to show you what a ryokan is like. A ryokan is a Japanese style hotel, and this place I am in right now is uh, located in Atami. Atami is around about two hours away from Tokyo by car, or just one hour away by the bullet train. The ryokan I stayed at is called Yuyado Ichibanchi, located in Atami. It is a popular ryokan with traditional interior and good access. This place is only a few minutes' walk from the Atami station. Now I'm going to take you through a quick room tour. Here's the room! It's an ocean view! Normally in these types of um, closets... Oh! So you can hang your own clothes there and you have some yukata um, for you to wear later and there's also towel for you to use in the onsen. Um, in this, oops! In this closet here you have the futon lined up. This is where a Doraemon would sleep at night. And normally they give you some sort of um, snacks for you to enjoy. Nuts. Um, questionnaire, okay. Oh, they have some yogi ball cushions! Woo! And that's the view! Here you can make your coffee and some tea and there's also a fridge which I believe is empty or oh, they have some water. Here just by the Genkan there's a toilet. And also a bathroom. Oh it's actually pretty big. Enjoy green tea with matcha. Yes! そしてお茶っ葉を湯飲みに入れます。はい、お湯が沸きましたので they had some more tea at the entrance of the ryokan. They had some black bean tea and seaweed tea. I decided to have some seaweed tea. There were also some coffee. At any sort of ryokan, you would change into a yukata, casual version of kimono, after you take a bath in the onsen. Dinner time! They give you a list of food that you will get. I'm afraid these are normally written in Japanese. So one of the distinct things about staying at a ryokan is that you get all these really nice Japanese foods that are plated in a really delicate manner. This is just the starters and afterwards you'll get like meat, some fish, some rice as well, some like soup, soup and some dessert at the end and I'm gonna take you through all of it. Normally you start off with an aperitif and here we have mikan or citrus, alcohol. It's sweet. It's really nice. Mm. I'm probably just gonna get drunk from this. <laughs> mm. So here we've got some sake. It's called Izuno Yamayama. It's actually from this region, and it means Izu's mountains.
and then I'm gonna pour it into this small glass but um, normally in Japanese culture you don't pour yourself a drink because that's kind of kind of considered rude but just for filming purposes I'm gonna <laughs> pour it by myself anyway <laughs> Mm. It's not particularly dry, it's got a bit of sweetness as well, and I really like it. I think they're using fake meat, soy meat here. Mm. By the way, I chose a ryokan where you get your own room when you're eating food, just so that I can minimize the amount of contact I get with other people under this sort of situation. It's crispy and nice. This is some weird dish. They have some kind of like salmon or fish roe. Any sort of like fish roe with grated daikon. That's interesting. Hmm. It's actually quite refreshing. Sunomono, mm. it just means food covered in vinegar. My description skills are amazing, right? I know you can tell. Sea cucumber. Not a big fan of it. So here I've got one, two, three, four, five types of sashimi and also chawan mushi, um, steamed egg with meringue. <laughs> Normally it doesn't come with the meringue, but they've made it extra fancy. It's really cute. I'm gonna try the chawamushi first. It's really like wobbly and nice. Mmm. Oh my god, the fried burdock at the top gives it so much flavor and it's really really nice. Mm -hmm. Here we have some wagyu beef slices and I'm gonna cook this. Yes. I'm gonna cook two slices because why not? covered in oil oh my god you can choose to put this in salt or soy sauce i believe i'll put it in salt mm. <gasps> this is probably the juiciest beef i had in like a very long time Here we've got a big fish. <laughs> Here we've got some fish stewed in soy sauce sauce. Here we've got some fish stewed in sauce, mainly like soy sauce based sauce. And that's my hand. It's you can tell that it's quite big, right? Also some rice to go with the fish, some pickles and some miso soup, I believe, or just like dashi soup. Mm. Hi. I don't know what this fish is called in English, so I'll look it up and put it up on the screen. The meat of the fish is really, really tender, and the rice is like, oh such a shiny rice, it tastes really really nice. The fish is flavoured really well, so it really goes well with the rice. And also, Nihonshu, Japanese sake. Oh. 
fish, rice, Japanese sake. I made in combination. It's like a never ending cycle. Itadakimasu. I'm gonna try the Kamaboko fish cake. It comes with like a random sauce. Mmm. Mm. Sake kasu sauce. By the way, if you come to a Japanese ryokan and you don't know what these foods are, don't worry because sometimes as a Japanese, I don't even know what they are. Mm. I'm gonna try the tofu that's just been made. So, the staff recommended me to put this put the tofu in this sauce with the egg. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, I love cutting through a freshly made tofu. If you guys want to enjoy fresh tofu in Tokyo, I have a separate video where I went to a tofu restaurant. So make sure you watch that, I'll link that up there. Here it is. Mm. Mm. Oh my god, that is like the softest tofu I've ever had. That tastes really really good. And there's like so much soy flavor. I'm gonna try the fish. Because these fish are dried, the flavor is like packed inside. It goes really well with the rice. As I said, the flavor is literally packed inside. They've taken a long time to age. It doesn't smell that fishy, so even if you're not a fan of fish, I feel like this would be great. I'm going for seconds because there's no way I'm only gonna have that much rice. Yay! I'm gonna have this rice with some shirasu, baby sardines, and the egg. Mm -hmm. Yes. With some sauce. Mmm. I love these kinds of creamy yolk. Mm -hmm. I truly believe that there are two types of people in the world. People who eat the fish until the very last bit and people who just eat them roughly. You can probably tell that I'm the former. I'm just gonna have my last sips of green tea and I'm gonna head back home. Home? Head back to the room. I hope you enjoyed this video where I showed you around a Japanese ryokan. I'm just gonna sip on this free coffee that I got from downstairs. I'll also need to pack and leave for 10 pm because that's a checkout time. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please don't forget to give it the thumbs up because it really really supports my channel and also subscribe to see more future videos about Japanese foods and culture. Bye! Bye! I can't move. I hope you enjoyed this video where I showed you around a jack-